In the last video, we installed PostgreSQL and we also set up our recipe book database. So now we're going to start to create the application. So in my projects folder, I'm going to create a new folder called recipe book. And you want to open up a command line in that folder. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and run npm init and create a package.json file. Uh, let's see, description, I'll just say recipe manager. Entry point, I'm going to say app.js. Author. Okay. So, as always, we're going to open that up. Let's open it up in Sublime. Let's see, what I'm going to do is... Actually, I don't want that one. All right, so we're going to say project, add folder, and we want recipe book. Okay, so what we're going to do here is in package.json, we're going to add our dependencies. So I'm going to paste those in. Okay, so we have our body parser that can actually be just an asterisk. Okay, now consolidate is is going to be used to help consolidate our dusk uh, dusk dust templating engine. Um, it makes things a little bit easier for us. We're also going to include dust dust.js helpers and dust.js LinkedIn. All right. Also, of course, we need Express and then PG is our Postgres module. All right. So. Not too many compared to some of the rest of our projects. Uh, let's go ahead and save that. And then we'll go back into our command line. And we're going to run npm install. Okay, so that's all set. Now let's create our app.js file. Okay. Let's go ahead and include all of our dependencies. So we, of course, we need express. All right, and we're just going to put a comma here and create the rest of them like this. So we need path. We're going to need our body parser. Okay, we're going to need our uh, consolidate module. I'm just going to put in a variable called cons. Okay, and that's going to say consolidate. After that, we need dust. Okay, we're going to require. Uh, this is actually going to include the dust helpers. So dust JS helpers. Okay, we also need our uh, Postgres module. So we're going to require PG. All right, and then we'll just say app equals express. Okay, so next thing we're going to do. Uh, let's take a look at the Postgres, the node Postgres documentation. And you'll see that we need this right here, a connection string. So let's copy that. All right. Make this a little wider. And I'm actually just, I'm going to call this connection or uh, connect. Okay. And then we need our username, Eduonix, password, whatever you put, localhost slash, and then you need the database name. In my case, it was. Uh, recipe book DB. Okay, so that's our connection string. Uh, let's see, let's put a comment there. Okay, now we're going to assign, we're going to assign dust engine to dot dust files. 
All right, so we'll say app dot engine dust, and then we're gonna say cons dot dust. That's where the consolidate module comes in. All right, now we have to set dot dust as the default extension. To do that, we're gonna say app dot set view engine okay and then we need another line that's going to tell it to look in the views folder so app dot set and we want to set views to double underscore dir name and then just concatenate on slash views all right, let's set the public folder. Okay, app.use. And in here we're going to say express.static. And then in here we're going to use the path module, path.join. And then we want double underscore dir name. Uh, and then the name of the folder which will be public all right so now we're going to need our body parser middleware I'm just gonna paste that in okay and then uh, let's see let's do a server we'll say app dot listen and let's listen on port 3000 And then we'll just console log. All right. So we're going to need a route for now. Let's just um, say app.get. And we want to get slash, which will be the home page. And then a function. Request, request and response. And let's just console.log test. All right, so let's see if this runs. Um, okay, so we're going to say node app server started. So if we go to localhost 3000, you can see over here we're getting test. All right, we're not actually loading anything yet, which we have to do now. All right, we want to be able to load our dust templates. So let's create a new folder here called views. And while we're at it, let's also create the public folder. And inside public, we'll have a folder called CSS. We'll have a folder for JS and also, no, that's that's good. In CSS, we're going to create a new file and call it style.css. All right. Now, inside the views folder, we're only going to have two views. All right. This is going to be a single page app for the most part. So one is going to be the layout. OK, so we're going to save this as layout dot dust and then we're going to have the index dot dust okay and let's go to index we'll just say this is index save it and then let's go back to app.js and go down to our route right here and what we're going to do is we're going to say res dot render and we want to render index save let's try and restart and reload and there we go this is index so dust is pretty easy to set up now we have our layout file and of course we want that to wrap around whatever view we're in in this case index so let's go to the layout and I'm just gonna choose to view this as HTML and then we'll just put some basic HTML tags in here for a title we'll say recipe book in the body 
Uh, for now, what we're going to do is use this placeholder here. We're going to say plus body slash. Okay, that's it. that's um, dust syntax, and we're going to save it. And then in our index file, what we're going to do is at the very top, we're going to specify the layout we want, which is layout. So you want to use this syntax. Okay, that's going to tell it that we want the layout. And then uh, we also want these body tags. Okay, we get that one. And then at the bottom, we have that one. So let's save this. Now, the way we can tell if it's working in layout, you can see we have a title. Right here, it's just saying local host. So let's restart the application and reload and now you can see we get the recipe book title and if we look at the source code we have our head and body tags and all that stuff alright so very easy now in the next video I'm gonna show you how we can actually just add a bit of data using PG admin and then we'll move on to implement bootstrap and have um, have our application fetch the data from uh, Postgres. All right, so I will see you in the next video.